Ladies and gentlemen, let us view through the deep global prism, see spectrums of governance with rays of their missions. The many living pictures show the blurs and the divisions on a micro or on a macro scale. Give power to the people. Make them hear the cry of the youths from their towers of Babel. It is a twisted game, this quicksilver politics that chameleons play. The sirens motorcade after kick-off whistles blown in a communique. Dribbling with manifestos, failing to score a common goal in every play. In this this governance league, every team has a name, and the goalkeepers change with every season's game. But under what league? Is it the championship for the classic monarchy, lottery for the capitalist and the selfish aristocracy, or a militant despotism disguised into an oligarchy? Is it a jaundiced democracy or a prejudiced socialism? Is it a wounded theocracy or a wheedling federalism? They're playing ball on quagmire. Quicksand is buried beneath the green turf across the field. Soon their feet get stuck and it's hard to trap the ball or tackle. So they sell us tickets to watch a match on this political pitch the coach is feigning yelling at these amateur players to yield and the crowd cheering wearing jerseys of best players on field or perhaps it's the players and not the game like those public servants sneaking behind red tapes of bureaucracy poisonous parliamentarians assembled in a glass house of conspiracy those dark hooded players in our crippling judicial system the undercover narcissists with PhDs in money laundering and looting. I just had to ask the coach, is this the infamous club called democracy? I could not understand this gimmick because I am not poetically inclined just to be defiant or politically opined. Neither am I socially aloof, nor do I seek to reprove, but I am sick of our society and some of her idiosyncrasies. So give me a yellow card if I point out a few discrepancies. I don't trust this democracy. You can give me a red card for this utterance. First, free this polity from mob rule and legalized oppression, from foreign economic policies that have destroyed our local economies, from questionable electoral processes, from exploiting through social policies, from manipulating with campaigns, promising women an ephemeral autonomy. Should it really be about the equality of the sexes at the expense of equity with exclusion based on race, class, political parties, gender and literacy? But of course, this is the government of the people, by the people, for the people. But they abuse the power of the people, then proclaim that we are all equal. They violate our constitution, rig elections and create an upheaval. Our bellies are filled up with this bastardization, prolonged hunger and poverty. They compromise the health of our body politic, seeking political immunity. Oh, mama, did you hear that your child is suffering from a chronic malaria? She was beaten by a giant mosquito. Now she can't sleep. She has insomnia. So she's reading manifestos backwards, thinking that we have got dyslexia. Oh, mama, mama, your poor child is suffering from schizophrenia. Playing under the confederation with different names, using different insignia. So can you hear? Youths are screaming out from long-held frustration, hoping for a free kick or corner kick, a way out of this economic stagnation. Tired of the offsides, foul, injury tolls from the unemployment and inflation. Even if we had possession of the ball, are we really fit to play for a revolution? With our defenders, midfielders and strikers, who would coach us into an induction? What use is the rule of law? Even scrupulous rulers are held high above it. How do we fight this infection? If we can't control the pleonexia prevalent They say freedom of expression, association, religion But we see ethno-religious tension Reckless governance starves us, divides us Afflicts us with scars and stigma Now I'm under surveillance as a victim of race, gender, religion and xenophobia Where was true democracy as war crime became lucrative And children were gunned down in Africa Innocent girls kidnapped, defiled and mentally assaulted in northeastern Nigeria. The agitation against injustice, the politics of exclusion on the indigenous people of Biafra, or how the opium of poverty has given way to insurgents and the militarization of dogma. They kick us in the shin, break our bones, yet we stand. 
We will defend as a militia And this is true jihad, a true crusade This poem is a struggle for justice There are war zones on pages of my journal, bloodless My pen is a sword dripping with my blood Inking the verses of martyrdom, endless It is injury time, youths are rising like black stars See, the ball is on fire Woo, follow soldiers, they head the ball so hard They are fuming with anger It doesn't matter if you're watching amongst the crowd You are also a player So I stand before you panting The ball landed in front of me A back pass from the captain I was sitting on a reserve bench watching Praying for a pitiful penalty Players defending and chest trapping this fireball With much tenacity We must find the cure for this disease Blow up this deflating democracy It's time to pass the ball to another eagle or black star so I beg take one for the team